in this video I'm going to talk, talk about pools. Um, basically these are the, are, the, are the server pools or virtual server pools. Well, not virtual server pools, but the server pools, the VM pools that we want to use for our web server farm or application server farm. So I already created in my last movie one of the pools. So let's create another one just to show you. So this is, for example, an app server pool. And in and we can use different algorithms for this pool. So IP hash, least connection, URI, HTTP header, URL. I would look into the documentation what all these means. For example, the least connection is the well, it's the other simplest one. Round robin is just well, first server one, then server two, then server three if you have one. Then it starts back at one again. Two, three, one, two, three, etc., etc. Well, with least connections, it will monitor what server has the least connections, and it will send the request over to that server. So let's take the least least connections for example. Well, the the servers monitoring or the monitors that we already spoke about in the last video. Uh, we're going to use HTTP monitor in order to monitor if the server or if the members are still alive, yes or no. So let's just select or add a member. So we can add a member, for example, app01. And the, 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 the objects that, that we can use, we can select the whole cluster as a member. We can select the whole data center even, an IP set, a Mac set, a network. Well, in my last video, I, I, I spoke about the security group and the security tag. Right now, we can uh, select a virtual machine and um, well I call it, I call it app1 because I already knew that I would select the app1 server and uh, the port that that server is listening on and I want to have it monitored on is 80 so let's select another member app02 and again I will select the virtual machine And I will select the app 02 server, hit OK, also port 80. Um, the max connections and min connections, I will just leave that default. You can define what the maximum amount of connections or the minimum amount of connections would be, well, in order to accept it as a new member. Um, and, well, we have configured everything here. Let's hit OK. And that this means that we just created an application server pool with two application servers inside it. So let's hit OK. And well, it's creating the pool. So you will you will see a pool tree here. Well, you can edit it with the pencil. You can basically change things around here. And we can also remove it with the cross. Yes. And it's gone. 